So now I'm getting ready to go applicate, but what I want to talk about first are the different trowels. Okay. This is the trowel that I like to use. It's a Japanese trowel. Okay, it's very thin. As you can see, it bends. So it gives you room to play with, okay? This is a bigger one of the same version. This is a little stronger, okay? So it's different tempered steel. This is the one I like using because it's flexible and it's easier to work with, I believe. But everybody has their preferences, so other people like to use these types of trowels, okay? This is actually isn't the proper one, but it's very similar. All right, but okay. some people use these, you could use this, and you could even use these, which are for spackling. Now, I like to use this around corners and areas where I have to meet certain tight spots, and you'll see as I'm doing it, okay? okay? Now, when you're done, in the end, you either burnish it with the metal one or with plastic ones, here and here. Okay. So, again, it all depends on as you're troweling, you'll see which works better. This tends to leave black marks on the wall. Okay. Because of the steel when it gets sweating, yeah, you're pushing so probably and pushing. Isn't the best one, yeah. Right. And then these plastic ones are great as well, but sometimes leave white film. Oh, okay. So you have to have a sponge on hand, and this is something you learn as you as you go. Okay. Okay, so right now what I'm gonna do is use this one. Okay. And use this, and we're gonna go over there and start. Okay.